Villanova. Wow. I no longer own you, Villanova. And also, this is my very last Friday leaving Villanova. Um, I can't believe I got approved. I mean, I can, but I can't. Oh, it's so fucking cold this morning, too. Um, so I'm going to ask for next Thursday and Friday off. I might get a sign earlier than that. But, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm moving. <laughs> Am I packed? Um, I haven't packed anything new since the summer. But, sure, I'm packed. Uh, yeah, it's just shocking to be moving. <laughs> um, I'm driving on four new tires. Yesterday morning, well, actually, the night before last, I woke up. And, or woke up, I got out of work and um, a little thingy on my car came on. When you have newer cars, they'll tell you, like, your tire's flat. Thank God, because I probably wouldn't even look. But, uh, yeah, so I went and got it filled, and then I woke up the next morning, which was yesterday, and it was almost completely flat. And I told your dad, I was like, oh my God, like, <laughs> we gotta, you gotta help me get this tire fixed. I didn't know if it was a nail, if I needed new tires, but he, followed me to get some air and then told me to drive to work and he would come to my work and take my car and get it fixed. Ended up, he almost bought two tires and I'm like, when have you ever bought two tires? We always buy four. And so he bought me four tires and so now I have four new tires and it is so fucking cold out. I need to put my gloves on for the first time in a video with you because I my fingers can't even take it. It's not heated up yet. Hold on. Let me put this glove on because I'm going to die. This glove too. Hold on. Because it's like fucking cold out. It's 16 degrees. I should have um, actually wore something warmer. But I'm going to have to ask the tyrant for two days off and he's going to get nosy. And I found out he's never bought a house because he's only been in America for um, four years. So he's probably jealous. That's how people get. Even men get jealous of women. <laughs> And he acts like a competitive little bitch, so yeah, he probably is jealous. Jesus Christ, I need some heat. It, this kind of cold isn't even right. I bet you work in some cold. Because you work outside in an airport and you're good, you're a man. You are built to do that. And someday, if you want to go be in an office, um, it'll be a change for you. If you want something different. As for me, I never had a sit-down office job like this. I was always in a pharmacy running around. And I kind of liked, there are things I like about that and things I like about this. Um, I don't know. What I don't like about this is who I work for and who I work with. A bunch of catty ass, fucking bitch and ass people that are just immature and they don't want to pay nobody shit. So, but oh well. Um, on this Sunday, I'm going to meet with the real estate agent. Your father's going to come too and do a walkthrough just so we can make sure that everything looks fine. Um, she's having her husband come out and look at my fireplace today because we weren't able to get it turned on. And if it doesn't work, then she's going to call somebody because I'm going to get a fully functioning fireplace for Christmas. And no, it's not a real one. It's one of those electric ones, but even better because I remember one time in our house on 6th Street, I think it's called a fluke that you have to open before you start a fire. I forgot to open it. <laughs> so I put all the logs in and I started the fire and I didn't even have the thing fucking open and it starts smoking up in there. I'm like, oh, I stuck my arm in there. Luckily it wasn't like too big yet. And I opened the thing, but whoops. <laughs> a lot of the times you close those so it don't bring in cold air from outside. And I didn't know I was closed. Whoops. <laughs> what I didn't like about our other house, the fireplace, it was in a small, we had a small, tiny living room that was even smaller than the living room we have now because the laundry room was bigger. And so when we used the fireplace, you got to be sitting there like in a tank top and shorts because it was way too hot. With my fireplace, um, I have vaulted ceilings, so, and heat rises, so it's probably going to be perfect, actually. Um, could run out my electric bill because it's electric, but whatever dude <laughs> uh am i scared yeah i mean i'm a woman who's buying her own house that's um wow and i got approved to do it so that's pretty cool i um can't 
can't even believe it. So this will be my last weekend in Villanova too, because next week I'm going to start packing at the latest on Wednesday. And you know, maybe I probably should start packing this weekend. That's what I probably should be doing. I think I will. No more food prepping. Oh, my home. I love it so much. I knew it was meant for me. I knew it. I knew it. And uh, it's very expensive, but I don't know. I, the houses, both houses that we got, the first one, it wasn't that expensive, but it was more than we were used to paying because we only paid $150 for rent. That house your grandparents let us rent. So it was a lot to jump, like triple that for a mortgage, double that. No, it was triple. And, um, so that was a lot. And then when we moved here, we did, we doubled the mortgage or literally almost tripled it and this house needed a lot of work and I don't know I was just like I could see the potential I went because I wanted it because I saw what it could be and I don't know I could have got something a lot smaller a lot less expensive and that's exactly the same thing right here except with this with my situation now there really isn't anything that I want to do maybe some new tile maybe some new paint in your room your room has the ugliest paint I mean it's not that bad but I don't I don't know I'd rather just have white in there so that's about it I mean for they just put in carpet I would like tile in front of the sliding glass door because Maya is gonna get mud right there when she goes out in the snow but you know it is what it is there could be worse and in my bathroom there is some old tile too but it's a small area because it's just a shower in there so I could deal with it um, also the bathtub that in the bathroom you get you get a full bath um full bathroom that fucking bathtub is hard to shut off and i do take baths every once in a while so i'll just have to make sure it's turned off pretty good but i mean there was so much more on villanova and villanova would have been a seventy thousand more dollar loan that's unrealistic for me and i didn't want to clean it i don't even have to mow i don't have to shovel i get a pool and I don't know it's um I don't get Olympic Park though like it's down the street though it's only a couple street lights but realistically I know that I like to walk I don't like to get in my car and drive to go walk unless I'm going to the mountains so when today we're going by Von Dam Road because I didn't care I was like I just want to go there today I want to go by there you know it's supposed to be happy time for me um they let my lender tell me she sent me a text and she was like happy loan approval day and I'm like what <laughs> and so yeah um I don't know I'm scared but it's insane and Cherry Creek is a little my car's dirty I haven't washed it once since I've been at this job because I just haven't been happy I really hate this place I, I do I make the best out of everything in my life, but I don't get any privacy. So it kind of bothers me. And, uh, but through my dirty windows, you can see the sunrise in a minute. There you go. Sunrise. I wish I could show you those mountains. I've tried before, so I'm not going to try again. Um, they're really pretty too. We got some clouds and a dirty car to look through today, but I got a house. So... You know, it makes me sad that your father took it this far. I know because he bought me tires yesterday, he got up and went out of his way. He has regrets. He just can't tell me what he did. He can't admit it. He can't articulate how he justified it in his mind. And he probably did justify it in his mind because of all the times on Facebook. When I talked to people, when, you know, initially I really got into it from 2000, what, 7 to 2000. 10 12 when everybody was getting into it he kind of told me that he's like you talked to jeff walker that was my first boyfriend i'm like yeah so i you knew about it i wasn't hiding anything i wasn't acting like i'm single i wasn't dating and so i kind of think that's when he's like all right you know and he gave himself a pass and that's when his attitude changed too and i think that he can't separate over Cherry Creek. I think he can't separate that people make mistakes. Like doing bad things from being a bad person. We all make mistakes. We all 
do things that are wrong. And, you know, sometimes I did talk to some of those people online, but I never met them in person. I never said I was single. I wasn't trying. I wasn't doing what he was doing. Uh, there's a whole big difference between talking to somebody and pretending to be single and meeting people single. That tells me there's a lot more to it in the way he's acting too. Fucking locking his... He's still locking that door. It's so crazy. I found a um, poem that I wrote from 2011 and it said that we bought a fifth I could show you and he locked himself in a room. This is just what it's been. I mean, 16 years ago, our very first Christmas, he didn't have locks on the door then, but he would push things in front of the door just to be with himself. And back then, I don't know if he had people he was texting or talking to, but he just liked to shut me out. Ooh, look at that sunrise. But I'm not going to let that ruin my day. I mean, I guess it's over. And I have a feeling he's going to try to milk the things he's doing for me because he wants to be back in my life. I know it. He just don't. He wants time to pass and for me to not ask what he did. And that ain't never going to happen. Especially for all the hell he's put me through and what it took for me to get here. So, uh-uh. I would have never even taken this job. I wanted hospital jobs. But I felt desperate. Because of my other job, they were going to fire me. And I was the best employee they had. They just gave me the promoted position they gave me okay they had a position that they were giving to somebody in Colorado I won out over every single hospital in the state of Colorado they have probably about 10 15 hospitals I won I didn't even apply for the position it was because I was doing so good so yeah and even at this job they say it's not about my performance I'm a good worker they just don't like me fuck them that's usually said by people who are intimidated by you or they want to, you know, make you knock you down a few pegs so they could control you. I don't know. That ain't happening. Sorry. Damn it, I shouldn't have went this way because of the kids going to school. And it's probably their last day of school before they get their Christmas break, too. If I was some of them, I would just ditch. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh well, fuck it. That's what it is. I'm tired, I'm hungry. Just. I can't believe this is my life. I love that house. Um, yeah, it's gonna be weird doing it all by myself, but honestly, I'm sure you and your sister can vouch for the fact that I was always alone. I was always raising you guys by myself and if you think something came up and he took care of it, not really. He would just be like, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I would call and take care of it. And like with our plumbing issue here, sure, we spent like $600 on one of those rotor rooter things and he would spin it around, but every single fucking time we'd have to call anyways because it was beyond just needing to be cleaned out. It needed repaired. And um, I mean... For the headache it was to try to get him to help do something, it wasn't even worth it. Oh my god, I might have to go get breakfast today because my dinner was really light last night and I'm starving. Very badly. Very, very hungry. I can't believe I got this phone. I need to call and um, set up my auto insurance. That's what I need to do because I got a home and auto insurance plan and they can't give me the home discount until I get the auto. And I didn't want to do it until your father or until I actually got this house because your father was going to keep me on his and he was going to pay for it. <laughs> so I could get like another month out of it if I had to switch houses and go for something less expensive or I don't know. The thing that's holding up my house is the HOA, the Homeowners Association. They need to sign off on shit. And that's going to kind of be a pain in the ass. I am going to have to deal with somebody to fix things outside of my house. I don't own the roof. I don't own um, the grass. They, I, I mean, I do, but I don't. They maintain it and take care of it. I get to enjoy it. <laughs> and my neighbors get a look at it. So that's what that's all about. But... I can't believe I'm going to be a homeowner by myself. I'm going to get a better job. Um, 
And then when you come home, if you come in the summer, you could just walk down this half a block away to the pool, go meet some girls. I'm going to meet some boys. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I don't know. I don't have any plans of that. I'd rather paint your room because I don't like that mustard yellow that's in there. It's not going to match your red and black comforter. I mean, I might leave it for a while because I got other things to do, but I'd really like to get you something else. <coughs> day I don't know it's been a long road trying to have a relationship with your father and and not going anywhere and it's all gonna be over now and I win so I curled my hair today because I was gonna try to have happy day and not let anybody spoil it I'm only gonna tell the tyrant I have to tell him because he has to give me the days off I don't want to tell anybody else because these bitches been trying to sabotage me, so I don't want to tell them. Just keep it to myself. That's the thing that I have a very hard time doing, and you know that. So, yeah. I have a hard time keeping things to myself. That's a skill I really need to learn. I'm starving to death. I kind of feel like going into 7-Eleven or Sonic or something, getting some food. Because my dinner is so light. I'm sitting here. I've been starving. I told you the other day, I have a hard time eating at night, and then I wake up and I'm like ready to eat a house down, and I don't have time. So, it really sucks. Because <laughs> I'm like, I need food. And it's already 8 o'clock, so I can't anyway, so well. Ugh, I need to eat, so. I should order some damn breakfast. Starving death. There. I do have a peanut butter cup in my desk. I guess I could have that. I want breakfast though. Oh well. It's finally gonna be over. I'm gonna be poor, but whatever. Go get some breakfast. Fuck it. I do not care what they have to say about me. I'm starving. I need something to eat. And they can kiss my ass. Damn it, the light turned red. <laughs> so I can't go. So I guess I'll talk to you for a minute. You said 7 Eleven food's good, and so did the Mexican chick I work with. So I'm gonna go get a breakfast burrito or something. Cause I can't even like wait. Hungry as hell. This morning I can't do it. I'm just too hungry for this. I had a tiny little sliver of chickens, a tiny little spoonful of rice, and what else? Like some freaking vegetable, and I'm like, oh god, I'm gonna die if I don't get some food. So the flight needs to hurry up, cause. I'm gonna purposefully be late for the first time because I don't care. Yep. Do do do. I really don't have nothing else to say. I guess um, I'll let you go. I'm gonna go get some food. Talk to you later. Love you. Bye.